In this clip, I'm going to talk about the proper way to read the vehicle's pulley configuration diagram. Now, just for the sake of filming, we have the hood off so you can get a real good look at it. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the hood. One of these charts is a pulley configuration diagram. There's going to be a whole bunch of information stored on this chart. And in order to read it, there's a couple points I have for you. As you can see, this pulley configuration chart indicates that we have two belts on the car. There's the, the front one and the back one. What it gives you is the belt ride routing in which pulleys the particular belt operates. On the front belt we have our power steering and air conditioning pulley if so equipped and on the rear belt we have our water pump and our alternator. As you can see we have what looks like an extension, a socket, and an arrow. This is very important and you're going to want to take a look at those. This is going to indicate that we have one right hand threaded bolt and one left hand threaded bolt. To service these belts, you're going to run into a bolt that's going to require reverse turning. It's going to be backwards from all the other ones. It's going to be a lefty tighty righty loosey. They put this on here to avoid you breaking it. If you were to throw a wrench on a lefty tighty bolt and turn it left to loosen it, you may break the end of the bolt off, thus requiring the services of a professional mechanic in order to remove what's left of the bolt and retap the hole. As you can see, it's labeled drive belt installation. Go ahead and refer to this first before you begin any servicing on your vehicle's drive belts.